guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make this crispy delicious punjabi samosas this is one of my personal favorite recipes so i can't wait to show you this recipe so now let's begin with the recipe first in a bowl take 400 grams of refined flour salt to taste and add 1 teaspoon ajwain 1 fourth cup ghee or clarified butter mix until the flour gets crumbly texture keep mixing it and make sure the ghee is mixed nicely in the flour something like this and then add just enough water to bring the dough together please do not add too much water and always use cold water for this recipe if you are not confident enough then add water little at a time then keep kneading the dough until it comes together and then form it in a round shape and then rest it for about half an hour then in a hot pan add 1 tablespoon coriander seeds 1 teaspoon cumin seeds 1 teaspoon fennel seeds and dry roast the masala until it is nice and light brown and then allow it to cool down then coarse grind the masala masala should look something like this it should not be too fine like a powder it should have a nice coarse texture then leave this aside then boil 6 potatoes and crush them something like this then in a hot pan add 1 tablespoon ghee or clarified butter melt it nicely and then add 1 inch chopped ginger 2 chopped green chilies fry this for about 1 minute Make sure the flame is on medium high, then add 80 grams of green peas, fry this for another 2 minutes, then add 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder, add 1 4 teaspoon black pepper powder, add 1 teaspoon red chilli powder. Then add the coarse grind masala which you previously made and then fry this for about 2 to 3 minutes. Then add the crushed potatoes. Fry this for about 4 to 5 minutes. Mix everything nicely and then add some salt to taste add 2 teaspoon amchur powder add 2 teaspoon chaat masala add handful of chopped coriander leaves and mix for about 2 minutes then once ready allow the mix to cool down completely before you fill in and leave it aside then take the dough which was resting and knead it for about one minute then take some of the dough and roll the dough out with the rolling pin until it is nice and thin don't worry about the proper shape then take anything round shape like a bowl or a plate and cut it nice and round with the help of a knife and there you go you got a perfect round shape and then cut right in the center and use one half to make the samosa use some of the water at the edge 
and then fold it in a cone shape something like this make sure it is nicely sealed otherwise the mix will come out when you're frying then fill in the potato mix and apply some more water and then do this fold which is very important for the Punjabi samosa and then seal it and then keep the samosa on the table and simply push it to keep it standing make sure the edges are properly sealed something like this and there you go one samosa is ready do this for all the samosas and then simply deep fry the samosas make sure the heat of the oil is medium not too hot otherwise the pastry won't cook and make sure the flame is on medium fry this until crispy and golden brown and keep mixing it regularly and it should have something like this color nice and golden brown then place it on top of the kitchen roll to soak all the excess oil there you go the recipe is ready you can have them with tomato ketchup or any of your favorite chutney and simply serve them hot with a nice hot tea and there you go the recipe is ready I hope you like this recipe if you did then please hit the like button and also if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my channel do try this recipe at home and I'm sure you will definitely love it Do comment on my recipe and let me know how is it. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.